pals, how's it going? Today I'm gonna be talking about being disabled and dating. Bum bum bum! The worst thing ever. It seriously sucks. So, I don't even know where to start. I think I'm just gonna talk to you about my dating patterns, and these are probably patterns that other disabled people who have chronic fatigue as a symptom kind of get into. I can just see it being a thing. So, if you've had these experiences, you should talk to me below and stuff. Make me feel not so alone. <laughs> I guess I'll start with my, my old dating pattern. Basically, things would go as follows. I would meet someone, we'd have a great time, I wouldn't have a lot of energy, and so we'd spend a lot of nights Netflixing and chilling and things would get really comfortable really quickly, and then I would get bored or they would get bored, and when things move really quickly in relationships, they tend to fall apart really quickly. And so that was my old dating pattern. And then I think unconsciously to undo those mistakes I've made in the past, I would then meet people who were really unavailable. Like really, really unavailable. I think I'm still on this trend. And so that obviously didn't go over well either. And then I guess because I was younger I didn't really know I was sick. I was just tired all the time or I felt tired all the time. I didn't really tell people. I would let people know that I was sick but what I did was like I kind of just almost imply that the symptoms didn't really impact me so I could seem desirable to that person which is just a mistake because what I would end up doing would I would be dating someone for a, a month or so and I would be trying to keep up with them and trying to go out with them and really overexert myself to the point where I just wouldn't be able to keep up with them anymore and so then things would go on and things would kind of slow down with the going out activities. They would probably realize that I was a lot sicker than what I was saying or something along the line would happen and then things would turn bad and they would treat me poorly and I, I would put up with it because as a disabled person you're often told that you're not valuable, you're not worthy of being treated well. And so I put up with being treated poorly by these people often because I felt that I just wasn't worth more. And that became really toxic and I think it was probably a, a mix of, of that plus you know, whoever I was seeing at the time, uh, they just wouldn't want to break things up with me and just tell me. Because I think being honest and communicative in relationships is hard to begin with, and I don't really know. I just think that from their their point of view, they probably had too much pity to just tell me, like, hey, I don't like you anymore, and that's really what I would have rather heard as opposed to, well, I'm getting kind of busy, but maybe we can, yeah, for sure, still see each other on the side sometimes and beat this dead horse with a stick so your self-esteem just is lower and lower. That was really shitty. And now I'm trying to change that awful cycle by letting people know that I'm sick and that it does impact me on a daily basis. I am often in doctor's appointments and still trying to figure things out. It's hard because there are so many layers to this situation that I'm in trying to date as a disabled person. And so I made this video because I want to tell other disabled people that you are worth being treated with kindness and respect and having amazing relationships and fun, great times that require someone who's a bit more understanding, but it's okay, and it's okay to just be who you are and not be ashamed of it. Anyway, thank you for those of you who are tuning in and listening to me ramble. Hope you enjoy these videos. Thanks for doing the commenty thing and all that stuff that you do. You pals are awesome, and I hope to see you sooner rather than later.